Hello big fans of the Kansas City Chiefs, my name is Richard and from now on I will tell you the latest news about what just happened to the Chiefs, already subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to always be receiving the main news of this amazing team. The Kansas City Chiefs have few needs remaining to be filled during the NFL draft, but might look to elevate quarterback Patrick Mahomes receiving core after that group's wildly disappointing 2023 season. If the Chiefs' offense has been built on anything in recent years, it's speed and explosiveness after the catch, which could put UCF's Javon Baker squarely in general manager Brett Beach's crosshairs. ESPN's Jordan Reed believes Baker is the top prospect after round one who can step in and make an immediate impact on the Chiefs' offense. Baker is an electric pass catcher who has experience in the slot and on the perimeter, Reed writes for ESPN. He averaged 21.9 yards per catch last season, second most in the FBS. Last season, Baker caught 52 passes for 1,139 yards and 7 touchdowns, emerging as a focal point and explosive playmaker in the Knights' vertical passing game. In a top-heavy wide receiver class, loaded with elite talent such as Ohio State's Marvin Harrison Jr., LSU's Malik Neighbors, and Washington's Romo Duns, Baker is the kind of speedster who could add significant value after night one of the draft. Javon Baker is a versatile threat who can line up on the outside, or from the slot, with the speed and agility to play a role in the vertical passing game regardless of where he lines up. Across his four collegiate seasons, spending two apiece at the University of Alabama and Central Florida, Baker pulled down 117 receptions for 2,051 yards with 13 touchdowns while posting a blistering 17.5 yards per reception. Baker has good size for a wide receiver, Greg Cosell writes for the 33rd team. Littered throughout his tape is a desirable combination of detailed and nuanced route running to break down corners and a deceptive vertical dimension with the kind of accelerating speed that results from stride length more than timed speed. While Baker isn't a true vertical dimension, he shows strong ball tracking ability with both excellent body control and strong yet soft hands. There was no question that his hands were a strength of his game. He consistently showed he could catch the ball away from his frame and make tough catches in traffic. According to Pro Football Focus, Baker produced one of the nation's best average depth of targets at 17.1 yards, while garnering an elite 84.3 overall grade from the outlet. Two years from moving on from Tyreek Hill, the Chiefs could look to add Baker because of his game-breaking speed, but it might be a stretch to expect him to vault to the top of the depth chart. Alongside Marquise, Hollywood Brown, and all-pro tight end Travis Kelsey, Baker could carve out a niche as a deep threat, similar to how the Detroit Lions have used Jameson Williams the past two seasons. At a minimum, Baker could prove to be an eventual upgrade over Kadarius Toney. The Chiefs likely still need to add multiple wide receivers, and Baker could prove to be part of the solution and a piece of a revamped receiving core. Take the opportunity to share this news with all your friends, it will be a pleasure to have them all here, remember? We are here every day, until next time.